On December 18, 1787, New Jersey became the third state to join the United States. The capital of New Jersey is Trenton, with a population of 90,871 people in the 2020 census, ranking it the 33rd most populated capital behind Albany, New York, and ahead of Santa Fe, New Mexico. The population of Trenton slightly increased in 2021, making it 90,457 people. The largest city in New Jersey is Newark, with a population of 307,220 people, estimated in the 2021 census behind Cincinnati, Ohio, and ahead of St. Paul, Minnesota. Two major metropolitan areas rush into New Jersey with the New York City metro and the Philadelphia metropolitan areas. 21 counties in New Jersey fall under the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan areas, except for Warren County. New Jersey is a state in the mid-Atlantic and northeastern regions of the United States. New York is bordered to the north, Atlantic Ocean to the east, Pennsylvania and the Delaware River to the west, Delaware and the Delaware Bay to the south. New Jersey's central location in the northeast megalopolis has fuel growth and suburbanization in the 20th century. New Jersey's nickname is the Garden State and the motto is Liberty and Prosperity. New Jersey's seal consists of a shield with three plows supporting the agriculture tradition in New Jersey, a forward-facing helmet, a horse's head as the crest of the helmet, two female figures, Liberty and Ceres, representing the state's motto, Liberty is holding a staff supporting a stylized cap, and Ceres is holding an overflowing cornucopia. The streamer at the feet contains the state motto and the year New Jersey was established. New Jersey's flag is a state seal on a yellow black ground, and the flag was adopted on May 11, 1896 and modified in 1928. New Jersey has a total area of 8,722.58 square miles, making it the fourth smallest state behind New Hampshire and ahead of Connecticut. 7,354.22 square miles of that is land area, which ranks it the fifth smallest state behind Massachusetts and ahead of Hawaii. 1,368.36 of that is water square miles, which ranks it the 27th biggest state behind Montana and ahead of Pennsylvania. New Jersey is 170 miles long at its longest point and 70 miles wide at its widest point. New Jersey's average elevation is 250 feet, which ranks it the fifth lowest behind Mississippi and ahead of Rhode Island. New Jersey's highest point is High Point with an elevation of 1,803 feet above sea level. In the 2010 census, New Jersey had a population of 8,791,894, ranking it the 11th most behind North Carolina and ahead of Virginia. In the 2020 census, New Jersey's population was 9,288,994, which still ranked it at 11th behind Michigan and ahead of Virginia. This was a 5.65% increase, which was the 25th most behind California and ahead of Oklahoma. So New Jersey gained 497,100 people this decade, making it the 13th most of any state behind Utah and ahead of South Carolina. New Jersey has a population density of 1,263 people per square mile, making it the most crowded state in the country just ahead of Rhode Island. The northwest corner of New Jersey consists of the Appalachian ridges and valleys, including the popular Delaware Water Gap. Also, this region is where New Jersey's highest point is located. The Kidney Mountains lie within a region as well. As you move southeast, you turn into the Highlands region, which contains the Precambrian, Igneous, and Metamorphic rocks running into the Delaware River. The region is dotted by abandoned mines from the 18th and 19th century, when iron, copper, zinc, and other minerals were extracted from the land. Also, lakes and rivers dot the region and supplies water to the urban areas to the east. This watershed is protected by the Highlands Water Protection and Planning Act. As you continue south, you move into the Newark Basin Piedmont region, which was formed when the supercontinent Pangaea began to split 220 million years ago. The Piedmont region starts in New Jersey and ends in Alabama. The area in New Jersey has smooth topography and large volume of sediments. The basin consists of red rock classic sediments and random igneous rock formations such as the Palisades, and the Wachong Mountains. The next region is the intercoastal plain, which contains rolling hills, lowlands, which has Cretaceous deposits. This region's fertile soil is ideal for agriculture and is where the stick nickname comes from. The green sand marl contains potash, which has been used since the colonial days by farmers to fertilize the land. 
The last region in the outer coastal plain consists of deposits of sand, silt, and gravel. This is where less clay in the soil than the inner coastal plain. The lack of fertility in the region makes it unsuitable for agriculture. Blueberries and cranberries have been cultivated in the lowland bogs. Sandy beaches attract recreational industries and offshore barrier islands, making it for a popular travel destination. New Jersey ranks 26 in forest coverage, with 41.7% of the state covered by forests, which is roughly 2 million acres. The Raritan River is the longest river in New Jersey that is fully within the borders. Lake Kapachong is the largest lake in New Jersey, being 4 square miles. The Great Falls of the Passaic River in Passaic County is one of the largest waterfalls in the eastern United States. New Jersey is split up into three geographic regions, which is North Jersey, Central Jersey, and South Jersey. If you dive deeper, there is five distinct areas within these regions based off of physical geography or population concentration. The Gateway region lies close to Manhattan where millions of residents commute into New York City every day for work. The Skylands region in the northwestern corner of the state that consists of more than wood and rural landscape. The chief tree in these forests is the oak tree. The Jersey Shore region goes from central New Jersey all the way south and has its own cultural distinction from the rest of the state. The Delaware Valley in the southwestern portion of the state lies within the Delaware Valley besides Philadelphia. The Pine Barrens region is the southern portion of New Jersey and is covered with a mix of oak and pine forests. There are two climate classifications in the state. Most of the state is within the humid subtropical climate with the northwest corner being in the humid continental climate with cooler temps due to the higher elevation. New Jersey averages temperature is 51.93 degrees, which ranks it the 25th warmest state in the country. Summers are hot and humid with high temperatures averaging between 82 and 87 degrees and lows between 60 and 69 degrees. On average, temperatures rise above 90 degrees about 25 days per year. Winters are cold with temperatures averaging 34 to 43 degrees and lows of 16 to 28 degrees. For most of the state with some parts in the northwestern New Jersey dropping below 10 degrees and southeastern New Jersey rising above 50 degrees. The hottest recorded day in New Jersey reached 110 degrees on July 10, 1936 in Runyon, New Jersey. The coldest recorded day in New Jersey dropped into negative 34 degrees on January 5, 1904 in Rivervale, New Jersey. New Jersey ranks 17th on average annual rainfall with 47.1 inches. It rains about 120 days per year with 25 to 30 thunderstorms per year. Average snowfall per winter has ranged from 10 to 15 inches near the coast, 15 to 30 inches of snow in the central and northeast portions of the state, and can get up to 40 to 50 inches in the highlands. New Jersey can experience northeasterns, which causes blizzards and flooding. New Jersey gets the occasional tropical storm and more rare occasions. Hurricanes with Hurricane Sandy being the most recent making landfall on October 29, 2012 with winds exceeding 90 miles per hour in the state. Tornadoes and earthquakes are very rare in New Jersey as well. New Jersey has had 50 federally declared natural disasters making it the 35th most in the country. The largest cities in New Jersey are Newark, Jersey City, Patterson, Elizabeth, Lakewood Township, Edison Township, Woodbridge Township, Toms River, Hamilton Township, and Clifton. New Jersey has 21 counties, with the largest county being Burlington County with 798.58 square miles and the smallest county being Hudson County with 46.19 square miles. The most populated county in New Jersey is Bergen County with 953,819 people and the least populated county is Salem County with 65,046 people. The demographics in New Jersey consist of 71.1% being white or Caucasian, 21.5% being Hispanic or Latino, 15.3% being Black or African American, and 10.3% being Asian. This is the first state I've covered with a higher Hispanic population than African American and the highest Asian population I have covered. New Jersey remains a major destination for immigrants being one of the most multicultural populations in the United States. First known people to live on New Jersey land was Delaware Indians, at least 10,000 years ago. It is believed that 8,000 to 20,000 of them lived on the land. Delaware people means original or genuine people and they spoke an Alquian dialect. They lived in small communities made up of mostly family. The men would hunt in the forest and look for clams off the Jersey Shore. Women grew produce in the gardens while the men was out. These Indians lived in New Jersey, Delaware, and eastern Pennsylvania. Around 1524, Giovanni di Bronzano became the first European to explore New Jersey. He sailed off the Jersey Shore and docked in Sandy Hook. 
1609, Henry Hudson sailed through Newark Bay and laid claim to the land and called it New Netherlands and for the Dutch. In 1660, Bergen was New Jersey's first permanent European settlement. The Dutch, Swedes, and Finns were the first from Europe to settle New Jersey. In 1664, the Dutch lost New Jersey to the British. The British divided New Jersey in half and gave the eastern side to Sir George Carteret and gave the west side to Lord John Berkeley. This is when New Jersey was officially named after the Isle of Jersey in the English Channel. Both Berkeley and Carteret sold the land at a low price and allowed the settlers to have political and religious freedom. This allowed New Jersey to be one of the most diverse colonies and it grew to 100,000 people. Years leading up to the American Revolution, anti-British feelings began to spread through New Jersey, with a third of the population supporting the rebels and a third supporting Britain, and a third remaining neutral. In 1776, New Jersey declared itself independent and joined the colonial side of the revolution. Geographically, New Jersey was extremely important in the Revolutionary War because of its location in the center of the colonies and also being in between New York City and Philadelphia. No other state has had more battles fought within its borders during the Revolutionary War than New Jersey. In November of 1776, the British gained control of New Jersey and forced George Washington into Pennsylvania. The British thought nobody would fight during the winter, so they set up camps along with the Hessian soldiers until spring. Trenton was considered a valuable post, and the British gifted it to the Hessian soldiers as a gift for their service. The British didn't follow Washington into Pennsylvania because the Delaware River was full of blocks of ice. That mistake, along with the Hessians assuming George Washington wouldn't cross back, led to a turning point in the Revolutionary War. In December, Washington and his men crossed the Delaware River with the strong currents and blocks of ice into Trenton, New Jersey. Washington and his men captured 900 prisoners and took control of Trenton and the Battle of Trenton. Following that battle, Washington won the Battle of Princeton in a matter of hours, which made Britain flee out of New Jersey to New York. On December 18, 1787, New Jersey became the third state to ratify the U.S. Constitution and the first state to sign the Bill of Rights. In 1790, Trenton officially became the capital of New Jersey, with William Livingston becoming the first New Jersey governor. During the early 1800s, New Jersey was prosperous with new factories springing up throughout the state. Patterson, New Jersey became a textile center and eventually produced trains and silk. Trenton produced clay, iron, and steel. Camden, Elizabeth, Jersey City, Newark, and Passaic all became major manufacturing centers in the 1800s. Like the rest of the U.S., railroads and canals helped industries grow with thousands of Europeans flying to New Jersey for work. Southern New Jersey remained mainly rural and grew crops to help feed urban areas nearby. Railroads were very vital for Southern New Jersey. In 1850, half a million people lived in New Jersey with most of that being in Northern New Jersey along with most of the industries. In the Civil War, over 25,000 New Jersey men fought for the Union and fought for almost every Eastern battle. After the Civil War, New Jersey continued to grow during the Industrial Revolution. More railroads were laid to connect cities to transport materials. People first came from Ireland and Germany, with Italy and other Eastern European countries following suit. In 1910, half of New Jersey residents were either from the outside of the U.S. or their parents were from outside the U.S. With many people working in factories and off farms, child labor and protection for workers became major issues. With these being one of the top issues in New Jersey, in 1910, Woodrow Wilson became the governor. He supported welfare reforms to protect workers and keeping companies from becoming too powerful. He left office to become the 28th president of the United States, and he's the only governor from New Jersey to become a president. New Jersey's economic expansion had a lot to do with the many inventors from the state. Thomas Edison being the most famous out of New Jersey's inventors, he invented thousands of items, more prominently the light bulb. Entertainment made a pit stop in New Jersey's economy, with Fort Lee being the motion picture capital of the world in the early 1900s. Fatty Arbuckle, Mary Pickford, and Pearl White revolutionized entertainment with their movies. Between 1900 and 1930, New Jersey's population doubled and manufacturing became a $4 billion industry. Massive unemployment came with the Great Depression, which really damaged New Jersey. In the 1940s, New Jersey rebounded after World War II. Mid-1900s, people moved out of cities into rural areas. With people traveling around, New Jersey opened the New Jersey Turnpike and the Garden State Parkway in the 1950s. Speaking of travel, on May 3, 1919, the first passenger flight in American history was flown from New York to Atlantic City, New Jersey. The first Miss American pageant was held in 1921 in Atlantic City, New Jersey. The Holland Tunnel, connecting Jersey City to Manhattan, opened in 1927. 
1933, the first drive-in movie theater was shown in Camden, New Jersey. During both World Wars, New Jersey was a center for production, especially naval. The Federal Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company yards in Kearney and Newark and a New York Shipbuilding Corporation yard in Camden produced many ships. New Jersey ranked fifth for percentage of total U.S. military output during World War II with 6.8%. Fort Dix, or Camp Dix, Camp Merritt, and Camp Kilmer were all constructed to house and train American soldiers during both World Wars. New Jersey was once renowned for its mineral deposits, especially iron ores. This iron was used to make artillery in the Revolutionary War. Nearly all raw materials from New Jersey are now imported along with fossil fuels. Major industries in New Jersey is the production of chemicals and manufacturing. Most notably, electrical equipment, textiles, food, toys, sporting goods, stone, glass, and clay products are manufactured in New Jersey. New Jersey has one of the highest numbers of engineers and scientists per capita in the United States. Inventor Thomas Edison established a research laboratory in northern New Jersey in 1876. Since then, there is research facilities all throughout northern New Jersey. Southern New Jersey economic success is heavily based off of tourism. The region known as the Jersey Shore brings in thousands of tourists a year. The center of the tourism is Atlantic City, with gambling being a major contributor to the economy. Atlantic City is known for being the Vegas in the east, with casinos up and down the coast, with the famous boardwalk separating the sand from the casinos. In the mid-1970s, the residents of New Jersey approved a constitutional amendment to allow casinos and gambling at Atlantic City. Some of the most popular companies based in New Jersey is Cognizant, Johnson & Johnson, Bed Bath & Beyond, Panasonic Corporation, and maybe the most popular out of all of them is Toys R Us, which is making a comeback in 2022 with 400 U.S. locations. New Jersey has one of the country's highest rates of union membership in the nation, along with having one of the highest total union members. This is a reflection of New Jersey's history with organized labor and industrialization. Roads linked from Philadelphia and New York City to New Jersey have been a major bloodline for the economy. Newark, New Jersey can appreciate this the most with its transportation hub. Newark Liberty International Airport, Port Newark, and Elizabeth Port Authority Marine Terminal create one of the world's most dominant transportation systems. The economy of New Jersey is heavily bonded with New York City. The commercial traffic is one of the heaviest in the United States between New Jersey and New York. The Port of New York and New Jersey Authority was created in 1921 for the purpose to finance and operate transportation facilities in New York metropolitan area. There is a similar transit in the Camden area that links Camden with Philadelphia. Camden also has a deep water port on the Delaware River and high-speed transit to Philadelphia. New Jersey has always had good road conditions even before World War II. New Jersey has built an extensive network of toll highways with the New Jersey Turnpike running the length of the state from George Washington Bridge to the Delaware Memorial Bridge. The Garden State Parkway stretches south along eastern New Jersey from the New York State Line to Cape May. And last but not least, the Atlantic City Expressway connects Atlantic City with the Camden area to the west. The main interstates in New Jersey are I-76 with only three miles in New Jersey to start the interstate. I-78 that runs across northern New Jersey connecting New York City to Pennsylvania. I-80 runs just north of I-78 and is the beginning of the end of the transcontinental freeway that connects San Francisco to just north of New York City and Teaneck, New Jersey. And I-95 that begins in Canada and ends in Florida or vice versa and runs through central New Jersey. The U.S. highways in New Jersey are U.S. 1, U.S. 9, U.S. 22, U.S. 30, U.S. 40, U.S. 46, U.S. 122, U.S. 130, U.S. 202, U.S. 206, U.S. 322, and U.S. 611. The median household income in New Jersey is 85245 ranking it the second highest in the country. New Jersey's economy has diversified in the 21st century, moving into biotechnology, pharmaceuticals, specialized agriculture, and informational technology. In 2020, New Jersey ranked first in millionaires' household per capita with 9.76%. New Jersey has a per capita income of 44,153, which ranks it third in the nation. New Jersey's poverty rate below that is 10.2%, which is below the national average of 11.6%. New Jersey ranks third in public schools according to World Population Review. The largest university in New Jersey is Rutgers University, with 65,000 plus enrolled. Established in 1766, Rutgers University is the eighth oldest college in the United States 
and second oldest in New Jersey behind Princeton University. Princeton is the only Ivy League university in New Jersey, and also Seton Hall is the largest Catholic university in New Jersey. Major league sports in New Jersey include the New Jersey Devils and the NHL, established in 1974, has won three titles, plays at a Prudential Center that fits 16,514 people, and opened in 2007. The Metropolitan Riveters of the NWHL, which was established in 2015 and has won one title, and it also plays at the Prudential Center. The New Jersey New York Gotham FC of the NWSL, which was established in 2007 and has won one title. It plays in the Red Bull Arena that fits 25,000 people and opened in 2010. The New York Giants of the NFL, established in 1925 and has won eight titles, including four Super Bowls. They played with the New York Jets in MetLife Stadium that fits 82,500 people and opened in 2010. The New York Jets was established in 1959 and has won one title, which was the third Super Bowl ever. Common mistake is people thinking the New York Giants and the Jets play in New York, but they actually play in East Rutherford, New Jersey. MetLife Stadium took $1.6 billion to build, which at the time was the most expensive stadium ever built in 2010. The New York Red Bulls of the MLS established in 1994 and hasn't won a national title. They play in the Red Bull Arena that well fits 25,000 people. The New Jersey Nets was a team in the NBA from 1977 to 2012. They won zero championships and eventually relocated to the present day Brooklyn Nets. Major collegiate sports include Rutgers Scarlet Knights, which is a member of the Big Ten Conference. They play football in the SHI Stadium, which holds 52,454 people and opened in 1994. They play basketball in the Rutgers Athletic Center, which fits 8,000 people and opened in 1977. Rutgers is known for being the birthplace of college football, hosting the first ever intercollegiate football game on November 6, 1869, going up against a college in New Jersey, later known as Princeton. The Seton Hall Pirates, which is a member of the Big East Conference and plays at the Prudential Center, along with the New Jersey Devils. Seton Hall has no football team, but it does have other smaller varsity teams. The Princeton Tigers, which is a member of the Ivy League, plays football at the Princeton Stadium, which fits 27,800 people and opened in 1998. They play basketball at the Jobwin Gymnasium, which fits 6,854 people and opened in 1969. New Jersey has voted Democratic in every election since 1992, making it a Democratic stronghold. Although New Jersey is small, it has 14 electoral votes, which is more than in many states much larger than New Jersey due to its population. New Jersey has a partisan voting index of D plus 6, which makes it tied with the 11th most Democratic state along with Delaware and Oregon. The Democratic Party has also controlled both chambers of the state legislature since 2002. The 22nd and 24th President of the United States, Grover Cleveland, is the only president from New Jersey. He was born on March 8, 1837 in Caldwell, New Jersey. New Jersey state flower is a common blue violet. The state tree is the northern red oak. The state bird is the American goldfinch. The state animal is the horse. The state bug is the honeybee. The state fish is the brook trout. The state fruit is the blackberry. And the state reptile is the bog turtle. New Jersey also has 12 national park sites, 31 state parks, 11 state forests, and five national wildlife refuges. I've been up and down the Jersey shore I've made the mistake of trying to pump my own gas when Jersey and Oregon are the only states that can do it for you. I've been to Jersey City and I can say from personal experience that New Jersey is a great state. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more. If there's more stuff you wish I discuss or went more in detail with, let me know in the comments below for a possible part two. I hope all of you have a great day and until next time, World Geo out.